So, Sucrose, the package you mentioned that you received before, you need to be careful when you're... Once I opened it, if your package contains... No, this package did... Timaeus! Sucrose! What are you... Oh, hey, you two. Uh, we're just talking... A strange pack. Yes. I believe it's from a Sumero scholar who came here to study in... Huh? A package from an academia? There wasn't anything dangerous inside. I think I've seen Timaeus with some similar-looking cards before. Uh, you've, you've seen me with some cards? <laughs> Maybe those were the testing cards. No, they didn't look like... Oh, you meant these? Huh. S no, never. Recently, I've been spending all my time up in the mountains working on... <laughs> you could definitely say that it's trending, but not as an area of research. It's a card game that's... It's called Genius Invocation... Genius Invocation TCG! Yeah, we've been hearing about this game all over the place. But this... We didn't know it had made it all the way to Monster... That's right. The game's been catching on lately. The Yae Publishing House in Inazuma has... It starts with a young guy in Sumeru who finds an ancient casket of tomes in the attic. He opens it and discovers that the soul of... It turns out that the Crocodile King was King Deshret's viceroy, who battled an opponent named the Ibis King. After being unexpectedly... Uh... Huh? What's... No. <clears throat> Well, oh? well, since it's a gift from a researcher I've collaborated with, I thought that I should at least try to... All oh, right! And since it's a game from Sumeru, who knows? Playing it might even... Okay, fine! Paimon's curious and would like to give it a... Although... <laughs> well, but if you'd like to learn the rules of Genius Invocation TCG, then I'd actually suggest you go to the Cat's Tale. Yep, that's trying to learn the... Understood. Traveler? Paimon, to be honest. Well, what are we waiting for? Just come in here to play Genius Invocation TCG anyway. All it does is encourage more people to come to the bar for a drink. Uh, you know, if drink sales keep going up like this, pretty soon Mondstadt's alcohol industry is going to reach new heights. <sighs> <sighs> Looks like my first step in destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry should be stamping out the spread of Genius Invocation TCG. My dear, you are quite mistaken. You said it yourself, a clear mind is necessary to win. Soon, their thirst for victory will overcome their thirst for alcohol. Prince speaks the truth, Diona. Not only is the spread of Genius Invocation TCG no obstacle to your goal of destroying Mondstadt's alcohol industry, it could even support you in this endeavor. C could it really? Sure, why not? Alrighty then, our two customers are waiting to learn. Shuyun, let's put you on drink mixing duty for now. Well... But Shuyun is destined for a far greater purpose. Shuyun, drink mixing, now. Uh... Okay. Ooh, all right. We'll need some space to learn. <laughs> Let's go to that empty table over there. You'll be needing your deck, so place that on the table. Uh, deck? Uh, yes. You should have built a deck. You know, a set of cards that meets the bare minimum requirement to play the game. Uh, what's with the blank stairs? Come on. Don't tell me you came to learn Genius Invocation TCG without bringing any cards. That's right. We have some cards that I received from a friend. Uh, yeah. You're gonna need a few more cards than that. Okay, let me think. Oh. <sighs> to learn the game, you'll need at least two character cards to switch between. Oh, 
Oh, that reminds me. A few days ago when I was closing up for the night, I noticed a customer had left a couple of character cards on the bar counter. <laughs> Maybe you could use those for now. Are you sure that's okay? Eh, it's already been a few days and he still hasn't come back to claim them. Who knows? Maybe he left them here on purpose. Oh, okay, yeah, I got them here with me. You know, just in case the customer came looking for them. Yeah, <laughs> not because I like to play the game or anything. <laughs> Please. All right, so now we have two character cards. That's everything we need, right? Yep. So, are you ready to start? All right, then let's begin. <sighs> Welcome! Welcome to the world of Genius Invocation TCG! Simply put, this is a game where you control character cards to duke it out with your opponent! Pew pew pew! Once you've defeated all of your opponent's character cards, victory shall be yours! Now then, you're gonna need a character on the field to start with. Let's finish this swiftly. First, we roll eight elemental dice at the start of every round. These dice correspond to elemental energy. We'll be spending these dice to perform actions. Once the roll phase is over, You'll enter the action phase, where the real game starts! During the action phase, you can spend elemental dice to perform various actions. Of course, the most common action is to use character skills. Not bad. You just made your first attack. During the action phase, both sides will take turns making their moves. After you use a skill to attack your opponent, it's their turn to attack. And as you can see, once the enemy finishes their move, it's our turn again. Now, these are Omni-Element Dice. They can be spent on any move regardless of the elemental type. So, we're gonna use them to pay for the Pyro Dice needed for this skill. Go on! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good! That's one opponent down for the count. Ba-bam! But the game has only just begun. Remember? You have to defeat all opponents to win. Hmm. As much as we'd like to attack again, seems like we've run out of usable dice. Huh. In that case, let's end this round. After you end round, you won't be able to do anything else this round. And once everyone chooses end round, we can move on to the next round. All right, here we are, a fresh new round. <laughs> and a fresh new round means time to roll the dice again. That's how we're going to get the elemental energy we need, after all.
Ooh, that's some terrible luck. Well, there's no way we'll be able to use D Luke's skill now. But don't worry, situations like these are why we have the option to re-roll! <laughs> Once per round, you can select all the dice that you don't like and re-roll them. When the action phase begins, the player who first chose end round in the previous round takes their turn first. This means that since you finished first the last round, you'll be the first to start this round. Alrighty then, let's learn a little bit about energy and elemental bursts. Each time you use a skill, your character will gain one energy. Once Diluc's energy is full, he can use a powerful elemental burst, but we're still one short. Never mind, let's start with a normal attack instead. Diluc's normal attack only needs one pyro die and two other dice of any type. In any case, your normal attack needs fewer pyro dice than your elemental skill. <laughs> now we have three energy plus. We have enough pyro elemental dice left over. It's time to use. Your powerful elemental burst! Time for retribution! <laughs> <laughs> 